As the world celebrates the new year, there is no sign of easing regarding the current conflict between Israel and Hamas, and its spillover effect has extended. On October the 7th, a large-scale armed conflict broke out between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip, causing the death of more than 22,000 Palestinians and about 1,200 Israelis. The Palestinian-Israeli issue has, for months, become the focus of attention of the international community. Political leaders have repeatedly called for a ceasefire and peace. Israel should not be able to determine the fate of this region. Israel should not be allowed to continue to drag us into the abyss of war. It is time the international community acted in accordance with its obligations under international law. It's time the international community acted in the interest of peace for all Palestinians and Israelis. This war is not bringing peace to the Palestinians. It's not bringing peace to the Israelis. People in Gaza shall be allowed to peacefully and with dignity um, and in a safe way live in Gaza. So no force uh, replacement, displacement, refusal of um, displacement of people of Gaza. This is definitely some point we can all agree. Y debemos reconocer el derecho que tiene todo país a defenderse y a existir, pero con la misma convicción y con los mismos valores debemos exigir que se detenga la muerte de civiles en Gaza. En algún momento de la legislatura tendremos que abordar el reconocimiento del Estado palestino por parte de las Cortes Generales y del Gobierno de España.